Is it bedtime yet? The clock on the wall tells me it is. I'm glad that it's bedtime. Bedtime is my favorite time of all. When the sun melts into the clouds and the dove sings to me, I know it's time for some great adventure. I snuggle down under my covers and get ready for a little explore. Won't you come with me? If you use your imagination, you can go anywhere, anytime. It's just like magic. Are you ready? Lie back against your pillow. Does the pillow feel hard? Or is it soft? Let's turn our heads as they rest on the pillow from side to side and stop. Now, how does your pillow feel? Is it softer? Can you stretch your arms as far up above your head as you can? And yawn. <gasps> oh, just like that. Now let's think about the way we breathe. Take a deep, slow breath in through your nose like this and let it out slowly through your mouth like this. Once again, a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good, very good. Now let's move down to our arms and our hands and think about what they're doing. Stretch your arms up above your head. Stretch as far as they can go. And now straighten them and make them absolutely straight by your sides. And curl your fingers to make a fist. Make tight fists with straight arms right on the bed next to your body. Now relax, just relax. Uncurl your fingers and turn your whole hand around and around in a circle, gently bending your wrists. Do your arms feel any more relaxed? We're almost ready to take off on our adventure. We just need to check one more thing. Can you point your toes? That's right. Just straighten both legs and point your toes. Keep them pointed. And now relax. Turn your feet around and around in circles. Let's make our ankles very, very loose. Just move them from side to side to side. Are they loose? And now let's close our eyes and take a deep breath in and blow out through your mouth and in and out. Keep breathing. You know, today I walked down to the beach I live near the seashore, and I can see a tiny corner of the beach from my room. It had been a warm day and sunny until late in the afternoon when the clouds rolled in. My mother wanted me to come home, but there was something I had to do. I was making a castle at the water's edge. And there were people on the beach saying things like, Oh, look at the sandcastle. Now, my castle looks like a sandcastle, and I used sand to make it. But I know that it's really more than a sandcastle. My castle is protected by a moat, and it's got a drawbridge that I pull up whenever enemy pirates come ashore. 
and there's a knight in glittering armor who stands at the gate guarding the princess. I just hoped it would be there in the morning. I'd like to take you back there with me, to know what it was like. The waves were rushing in and sliding back out. Let's walk along the hard, wet sand. It's low tide now, and now's a good time to search for those tiny treasures that the waves have left behind. You know, if we dig our toes into the sand, there might be shells right underneath. Oyster shells or clam shells. Well, look, there's a tiny hermit crab. He's pulling his legs inside his shell and hiding. Let's scoop him up. Oh, sorry, little fella. He borrowed his house from a snail. And now, if we put him back and be very still... There he goes. He's crawling back into the water. The big white seagulls are gliding above us as we walk along the shore. And they call to each other. It seems that they tell each other when they found food. Have you noticed how easily the seagulls glide along and then they swoop down to the water to catch a fish? And then away they fly with their powerful white wings lifting them up into the sky. It's beginning to get dark now. There's a group of white and gray seagulls landing on a long, flat rock. And the waves are lapping against the side of the rock. Maybe that's where the seagulls will spend the night. The wind is whipping around us. I'm pulling my jacket tighter around my body and I'm tightening my hood. My footsteps quicken and suddenly I feel like running along the shore. Let's run! Faster and faster our feet slap against the mud as we go and the waves are rolling up and over our feet. And when at last we've run out of breath, we can sit and rest on the wet, gritty sand. You know, the gravity of the moon is pulling the waves out to sea. But look, the tide is left behind a tiny mermaid's purse. Well, that's what it's called. It's really an empty egg case of a shark. And that's exciting to think about. But what if it really is a mermaid's purse? What do you think she'd carry in it? Seaweed ribbons for her hair? Maybe it would be filled with loose pearls or precious jewels from an undersea treasure chest. I wonder if there really are hidden kingdoms far, far below the sea where beautiful mermaids float along the glimmering ocean floor and gaze up at the silvery moon above. I wonder if they braid and clip their hair and smile at their reflections in Mother of Pearl. How are you feeling? Let's turn our heads on our pillows from side to side and stop. Now, how does your pillow feel? Is it softer? Can you stretch your arms far above your head and yawn again like this? <sighs> Let's think about the way we breathe. Take a deep, slow breath in and out through your mouth. And once again, in and out. That's good. Now let's move down to our arms and hands. What are they doing? 
stretch your arms up above your head. Stretch as far as you can. And now straighten your arms and make them absolutely straight by your sides. And curl your fingers up to make a fist. Make a tight fist. Straight arms right on the bed next to your body. And now relax. Just relax. Uncurl your fingers. Shake out your wrists and turn your whole hand around and around in a circle, gently bending your wrists. Now how do your arms feel? Do they feel any more relaxed? We just need to check one more thing. Can you point your toes? That's right. Just straighten both legs and point your toes. Keep them pointed. And now relax. Turn your feet around and around in circles. And let's make our ankles loose. Turn them from side to side and from side to side. Now close your eyes and take a deep breath in and blow it out. And in and blow it out. Do you remember what I said before? If we use our imaginations, we can go anywhere. So close your eyes, breathe deeply, and listen. Can you hear the breeze blowing through the tree branches? We're in the middle of the forest. The trees are towering everywhere above us and a mossy green carpet is underfoot. Our feathered friends, the birds, come here to build their nests and to fly from tree to tree visiting their friends. Have you ever thought about how birds make friends? Well, imagine looking down from a tall, tall tree. Maybe there are people below resting in the shade. Now those birds might be watching those people the way some people watch birds. Maybe they're watching us now. There's a path leading through the trees. Can you see it? Let's follow it. Ooh, smell how sweet the air is. Some of these trees are a hundred years old. They're resting in the same spot that we're in now. Oh, if they could talk, what a story they'd have to tell of the people that they saw and the conversations they'd heard. People picnicking and walking and resting in the shade. The trees and their branches look like outstretched arms. How tired they must be after so many years. This is a place you can come to anytime you need to rest and think. Well, the breeze is kicking up and it's getting dark. Let's hurry down the path to the bottom of the hill. And there's an oak tree there with a hollow in its trunk. I think it's the father of all the oak trees. Its branches are spread wide, like open arms, and I think it wants us to sit in its hollow. Let's settle down and take one last look at this beautiful place that we found with the swaying branches and the whispering pines. Close your eyes. Lie back against your pillow. Let's turn our heads from side to side and from side to side. And now stop. Now how does the pillow feel? 
Is it getting any softer? Let's stretch our arms far above our heads. Ooh, I think I really am getting tired. And now let's take a deep breath. And let's straighten both legs and point our toes and keep them pointed. And now relax. Let's make our ankles very, very loose. And let's check our arms and hands and think about what they're doing. Let's straighten them, make fists, tight fists, and now relax. Wiggle your fingers, shake out your wrists, and take a nice, deep breath. You know, sometimes in the summer, when the air is hot and heavy, I go out on my porch after dinner to look up at the heavens. We have an old wooden swing with a big soft cushion. I like to curl up in the swing with my pajamas on, of course. I sink down into the cushions. Mama's in the kitchen washing up dishes. The crickets surround the porch and they make happy music. It's the boy crickets calling the girl crickets. Those tiny crickets make me feel all fuzzy inside. <gasps> Look over there, a firefly. Did you see it? Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out. Now you can see it. Use your imagination. Imagine a tiny flicker of light somewhere out in the darkness. It's a drifting, floating speck of light. And then it's gone. I jump to my feet to see the firefly. Let's try to catch it. The grass is damp and it smells fresh and it's exciting to be out in the yard at night. But that little firefly is gone. That's funny. He was right here on this spot. Wait, there he is. He's glowing and he's moving, but I just can't catch him. Hey, look up there. The sky is beautiful blue. Midnight blue, and there are stars, sparkling, glittering sky diamonds. And somehow, tonight, I feel like they're there just for us. Hundreds of stars, thousands, millions of stars, no one knows how many. Old stars are always dying and new ones are being born. Some explode and stop shining. The strangest thing is, it takes millions of years for the light to travel from a far off star to our eyes where we could see it. So some of the stars that we see now actually burned out long, long ago. The moon is out tonight with his silvery smile and his cotton beard. He looks so wise and knowing. The moon is the best nightlight in the world, don't you think? Think about the moon. He's shone down watching over children's restful sleep since the beginning of time. Why, since long before there were children. And in those times, he smiled at the thought of the children that were to come. Sleep, 
he whispers, sleep and dream. Let's remember this picture of the moon and the stars and carry it with us always. Because these and all of our memories are our treasures to keep. How's your head doing? Is it relaxed on the pillow? Does the pillow feel soft? And your arms, are they relaxed? Just wiggle them around. How about your feet? Can you wiggle your toes? And now let's take a nice deep breath and close our eyes. Oh, I'm feeling so tired. Oh, calm and tired, deliciously tired. I'm almost ready to fall asleep. But you know, I was thinking, I was wondering about my sea castle and if the waves have washed it away. It's such a tiny little thing. I tried so hard to make it strong, but it's no match for the sea. I'm getting up from my bed to go to the window to see. I, I know it's dark. I, I know I won't be able to see it. I know it'll be destroyed by the sea. But I'm at the window. Oh, I just can't bear to look. What if it washed away completely? What if the turrets are torn down and the drawbridge is broken? What if the, the night is covered with mud and, and foam and who'll protect the princess? Look, I see it. It's a mighty fortress. The moat is deep and the drawbridge is strong. Why, the moonlight is bouncing off of my knight's helmet. And I can see the highest turret. There's a window. And through the window, a light is shining. A burning, glowing light in the window of my castle. What a beautiful sight. Truly, this is a blessed night. My eyes might be playing tricks, but I believe this is a miracle. It's mine and it's yours. My own special castle. Probably no one will believe us in the morning. Oh well. I thought, I know I thought. Well, I suppose we really ought to go to sleep now. And if in our dreams we should go to places as wonderful as these, oh, then I'm ready. Let's snuggle down under our covers and turn our heads from side to side. Oh, you know, the dove is the first thing I hear at night. And then the first thing I hear when morning creeps slowly in. I love the dove. Sing to us, my little friend, and we will listen as we sleep. Good night.